What is up with equations and how can we use them to better understand real world problems? And have you ever wondered how equations, tables, and graphs work together to tell a mathematical story? Join me as we explore these questions in today's episode of Mr. Mark's Math Adventures. Hey math learners, it's Mr. Marks, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. And before we dive into today's adventure, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for future episodes. I promise you are not experiencing deja vu. We truly are delving into our beloved plant growth problem one more time. If you haven't yet seen episodes four or eight, now's the perfect time to catch up. Those episodes lay the foundation for today's expansion into this thrilling problem. Today's fresh approach is all thanks to one of our viewers. Hey, huge shout out to Corin for bringing equations to this math party. Today, we're gonna again demonstrate one of the essential mathematical habits of mine, mathematical representations, by unraveling how Corin's equations connect with our previous tables and graphs. And as we start, always feel free to use the companion worksheet. It's a great tool to follow along with the episodes and to reinforce your learning. Companion worksheet is free to download, link down in the description. Now remember, math is a language. Equations are sentences that tell stories, just like our tables and graphs did. So let's break down Corin's equation. 0.5 multiplied by x plus 1 equals 0.25 multiplied by x plus 3. The 0.5 denotes plant A's growth rate, and the plus 1 is its starting height. And on the other side, 0.25 signifies plant B's growth rate, and the plus 3 is plant B's initial height. Now when both expressions are equal to one another, it signifies the plants are of the same height. And now to solve for x. Starting with the equation Corin gave us, our goal is to get all terms with x on one side and all the constants on the other side. Let's do that. First, we'll subtract 0.25x from both sides to combine our x terms. This gives us 0.5x minus 0.25x or 0.25x on the left side. And now, we'll also subtract one from both sides to shift the constant terms. This results in three minus one on the right side, or two. This leads us to 0.25x equals two. Now to solve for x, we will divide both sides by 0.25. This gives us x equals eight. Boom! Solving these equations for x tells us the plants are the exact same height on day eight, which aligns with our tables and graphs from previous episodes. All these methods, the table, the graph, and the equation, they're all intertwined. They're a collection of diverse ways to see the same story. Where do you see the 0.25 and the 0.5 in the table. Where do you see the 0.25 and the 0.5 in the graph? Where do you see the plus one and the plus three in the table? What about in the graph? How you feeling about equations now? Do they seem kind of like a shortcut or a more in-depth way to dive into the problem? Be sure to drop your thoughts down in the comments below. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along, and if you made mistakes, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. And hey, Mr. Mark's Math Adventures is holding a giveaway. Click the link down in the description to see all the giveaway details and for your chance to win. This is Mr. Marks signing off. I'll see you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math-related content. Until next time.